All right, so we're out here at Creekside Park, gonna play the long tees. We're gonna do the mystery box challenge. So me and Gage both got the Dismania black box and we actually got all the same discs. So all the molds are the exact same. So I'm going with the Enigma, the Sensei, and the Origin. And to see what other discs came in my box, I'll link the uh, video to my unboxing in the description and in the top. What's up guys, I'm gonna be throwing the G-Line PD2, Neo Origin, and I'm going to be putting today with the Geo Link. This hole one at Creekside 297. It's actually a par 3, not a par 4. It's just a huge turn to the right. Almost impossible to get the bird, but... You can't really see the basket. Yeah, you just got to throw it and pray. Because <laughs> you can't actually see it. Alright, whenever you're ready. It's like straight through that guy. Might as well. Oh, oh. that's actually pretty solid. I'm stupid. It's going with the origin. Turnover play is preferred. That's how you do it. Um, I got a nice, probably little forehand with the origin. Try to let it oh. glide all the way to the I back. like it. Flip it over. Yeah. Nice controlled shot. Oh, that, <laughs> that flashed the basket. <laughs> that Liam here. Basket should Oh, go in. Woo! Oh, a little close. Good, good par. That's usually not how it's Yeah. <laughs> Looking back on that hole, that is wicked. Yeah. On to hole two. So, we're going to do this challenge in six holes. So, holes one through six here at Creekside. Uh, hole two, par three, 250. I'm gonna go with the PD2, throw it through the right gap. Kind of not really too hard, just enough to where it can skip and hopefully get a roll to the basket. That's decent. I'm gonna try for the same play with the Enigma. Oh. That's one way to beat it in, first time throwing it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, that's money. Whoa, that skip. skip. Insane skip. I gotta put this for Birdie to get a one up lead. Got a, I don't know, 40 ish footer. Going with the steel link. Nice. Got Liam back there. Just went a little deep. We thought it was money. But, is it the sensei? Oof. Just tap in. So on hole two, I had a bogey and that put Gage at one up. So on hole three, it's 260 feet downhill. This is the short pad and the long pad is back here and you can just see the top of the basket, but I'll probably be throwing the Sensei and Gage might be throwing the Origin because he doesn't want to use his putting putter, which is the link. So maybe a little bit of an advantage for me to get one back here. I'm gonna go forehand origin. Oh, uh, stand still. Just try to push it down because that's all I really have to get down there. We'll see how it goes. Buttery. Sit down. Hopefully, that's not in the creek. Good thing is the creek plays as casual. That's true. 
but wet discs, not ideal. Sensei. See, we both went to match our shirts. I went the green origin, he's going to red sensei. We're feeling it. Oh, that's going straight at it. Let's go, that's got That's close. right, that's right on line. And this is why they call it Creekside. Gage just, just slipped into the creek, but he's gonna play it as casual because that's how it plays in the tournament. Bang City, there's a two. Now it's time for me to do it. This thing is just so pretty. Just go with Liam here. Nope. Oh, nasty spit out. That That's right annoying. Through. I went, yeah, top right, right through. Cut right through. <laughs> that is not how you want to see that putt. Oh, boy. So here's the tee box. We got a par four, it's 480 feet. You can just see the basket down there in the woods. But we're just gonna take um, our distance drivers and try to play it out to the left and give us an angle around the corner to make it three. So, Gage is up first, see what he's got. Two on PD2, probably keep it down the right side. I might try to ante it in the middle and out of flex, but who knows what I'll do. And again, we're, we're throwing discs we've never thrown before, so we're not quite sure how they're gonna fly in the open yeah, air, so. Never thrown G-line before. Is it a PD2? Yes, it is. Got a nice kick off the tree. All right, Liam going with this is an enigma. Probably we'll put it in the bag. Stable up, stable up. No, no, terrible kick into the woods. That's not where you want to be on this hole. Not at all. So you can see the basket up there in the woods, around there. Just got Liam off the fairway a little bit. Got a bad tree kick. Alrighty. He can pour from there. All right, Gage trying to decide what he's gonna do here. Basket's just over here around the corner. He ended up on the correct side of the fairway. He's gonna flick the PD2. He's scared of throwing that link since he's putting with it now. Ooh, came up a little short and that is not the spot you wanna be. Liam, over here, big downhill, kinda of death a little bit behind it. Good chance of a roll away, but I think he said he's gonna go for it. Maybe a soft bid. Stick. Nope, oh, that's a par for him. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up here. Put the pressure on him. That was a par. Gage got a nice stop by that tree, I think, but he's putting for birdie here. Put the pressure really on me in a six hole match. Just a little off target, he's gonna tap that in for par. So I remain two down through four. Uh, hole five at Creekside, 324 feet, par three, plays in tournaments. We just gotta push this first initial gap and then he goes about another 200 feet to the right. Let's and see. There's a creek you behind it, be so you don't wanna push too far. Right over there. It is hard to reach only because of the trees, but if you hit the gap right, you could probably get there. I'm gonna go forehand, G-line PD2. Oh no, hit forehand. something. I'm in the water, but <laughs> I hurt. Not gonna lie, that was a ugly forehand and that 
hurt bad. No, we're still rolling. Remember me trying to throw a hyzer foot? Origin? Yeah, that thing got some glide to it. Oh, that looks so good too. Just needed to get a little more sneaky. All right, so we have come across Gage's disc here, and now he's trying to figure out what's the best way to get it back. All right, Gage, after getting it out of the creek, he's throwing three. So Going forehand PD2. Yep. Oh, oh okay. fighter. Alright. <laughs> We're up there. Finally made it to Liam's disc. Had a little nice journey over here. Basket is just right there. Alright, Dave, what do you think? Or lower this way. Ooh, whatever you're most comfortable with. I don't know. I don't want to. This is to tie. Yeah. So I'm putting for. You're gonna be putting for four from where you're at. Now. Exactly. And you're throwing two. I don't think he turned out the way you wanted to. No, definitely. <laughs> Got a straight putt at it, or putt throw. It's one of those distances where you just don't know. Get up, ooh. All right, so he's in for par. So he's either taking one stroke. That's gonna be a four. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. That was a missed opportunity there. That was a... Okay, you got an outside chance. Save four. It'd be an epic save. Yeah. For a I need this. Oh! oh my God. Come on. I need some. That should have gone in. Oh. I think mine on... Whole three should have gone in. I don't know about that one. <laughs> We're gonna tap in here. I'll take a four. Gage will settle for the five. Are you soft? So these, this is a little bit more stiffer. I feel like the exo softs have like a little bit more grip to them. But these do feel nice. I feel like I should go with the harder putter only because it won't beat in as fast because mine got beat in pretty quickly and that kind of changed the fight a little bit, but. These just feel really good to me. They, well, the softs do too, but like. It could be one of those things where yeah. you use the soft when it's colder outside and then use the geo in the exactly. heat or something like that. And they're both links. I love links. There's the money. So straight, little stability on the putt, but I just love them. All right, so we're on hole six here. Last hole of the challenge. Um, got a choice here. You can go left side, something flippy, or a little touch forehand, or you can go right side with the hyzer. I'm gonna take the Enigma around the right side, hope to park it. This is the last hole, and Gage is up one, so I gotta make a move here. I might have pushed it just a little too oh, far. Oh. Yeah. Dri distance driver on this hole is just, yeah. it's hard to do. It's with. really like a fairway. Yeah. I normally throw my FD3 on this one. I was scared of keeping it too straight though and hitting the trees in the middle. That's why I pushed it a little wide. We'll go PD2, same as hole two. Kind of fan grip, throw it right. And just hopefully it will be okay for a bird. Need a good one. Stable. Oh wow. no. I saw that coming. Gave me a chance. I did. Gage finding himself in the middle, which is Pretty fortunate staring down the basket. If you can put this one under, it really put the pressure on me. Uh, I'm gonna try with the link. My up game, up try game is not on point, but we'll see. Putting the pressure on himself.
Oh man. See? Not, I needed to be down there. Liam's just off here on the right. Basket. Just right there through them trees. Looks like he's gonna go forehand and he try to get it up there nice and close to save par. And I think he just did so. Parked it. More pressure on it. Oh yeah. Gage, after a less than ideal upshot, has this to win the match. Oh, he cashed it. He takes down Liam. The link, baby. <laughs> nice putt, Gage. That was sick. All right, Gage, what do you have to say for yourself after that one? I knew my upshot game was uh, not clutch, but outside the circle, almost going in every time. Heck yeah. <laughs> Especially with the link. That was a fun challenge. That was, that was great. All right, so to close out the uh, mystery box challenge, Gage took it down with that putt in the last hole. Yeah. We didn't make too many birdies, but with the three disc challenge, we had to make do with what we had, and we had fun. We got to throw some new discs, learn them. Um, I think the Origin's going to make my bag, and definitely, I already have the Sensei in there, so um, that's going to cycle in next, but fun challenge. Um, stay tuned for the next one. We might be doing a bag swap challenge here on the middle six, and uh, so stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.